Hello everyone and welcome to character design day number 14. Today you are going to like today's character design. I'm gonna say it now. It's not a red and blue color palette so you have to like it because I did something fun. <laughs> this character design, I adore it. I think it's very Kate Grisian. I do. I think it's just something my brain, it's just on brand for me. Now today I went for a prompt. And today's prompt was falling, I think is what it was. So today's character, I went with the prompt and the prompt was falling. So what was I going to do? I could have done something with wings or like a fallen angel or something like I feel like someone typically would have thought, but I decided to just give him like a hunchback, like a back that is just like broken and he's like falling over because I think that's hysterical. Is that not funny? That's <laughs> that is funny and that is perfect. You know, Scarlet, we did a hunchback character, and I like doing those type of characters. Uh, I actually have a character um, kind of like that. His name's DJ. He is a hunchback, and it um, kind of influenced this character a little bit. Not too much, but the personality-wise, they're both kind of like... DJ's a zombie, so um, this character gives zombie-ish energies. Energies. Energy. <laughs> and so, obviously, I made him a dog alligator. Were you not expecting that? You should have expected that. <laughs> That's the obvious route to take this character design. You know, <laughs> I don't, I really don't know what I was thinking, making it like a dog alligator. I think <laughs> I was just, I don't know. I just did it. I don't think I thought about it. I think I just did it. It was being stupid. So I got, I got through the sketch like stupid quick, like stupid quick. This drawing, hold on. It only took, actually, no, it took an hour, 20 minutes. So that is actually quite a while for a character design. That's yeah. That's quite a while, at least for me. But I had such a fun time drawing this character design and the line art also looks great. So I just went on to line art. Not much to say about line art. Again, I think this line art looks fantastic. I love it. I'm not gonna complain. This design took like an hour and 20 minutes, which is a while for me. But to be fair, I was struggling with the color palette and you will see that eventually. But you know, right now I'm on line art. <laughs> So I, um, for this, uh, little pupper, I tried to give him spikes, a lot of spiky, spiky spikes. Mm -hmm. So, um, he's got, uh, like clumps of like fluff that are like spiked on his cheeks. So I also made his character, his character, his character, oh my goodness, his fingers very pointed, which I think is fun. I think that's very funny. I think it's, I, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I just really like this design. I'll be honest, one of my favorite things to draw is like male anatomy on like the torso. I don't think I draw it accurately, but I like the way I draw it. <laughs> I just think it's fun. I don't know. There's something about like just scrawny torso. <laughs> Here's a picture of DJ that I really like with like, that's an example. Like I really enjoy drawing that. I don't know why it's, I don't know. So I tried to add scales throughout like the whole design, keep it cohesive. You know, we like to say that here. You know keep it good and again more spikes more fluffy fur i tried not to make it too fluffy and make it distract from like the big spikes so that was a bit of a you know thinking back and forth added um big claws on his foots because you know why not i don't normally like to do that because it's a little annoying to draw i'll be honest claws i like they're just annoying. There's one character I like to draw claws on, and that's Deliza. She's the only one. She's my queen, and she's the only one. <laughs> the only one I like drawing claws on. Line art, line art, line art. Don't we love line art? I wish I had more to think, say I could say about this line art, but I don't. Oh, and I added a tail. His tail's would like scrawny as well. If his tail is, I, his tail is good this size. I'm glad I kept it this size. I didn't make it too big, like, cause it would just look so weird, I'm just having like a giant gator tail. But like it's, I like how it's smaller. And of course, added the spikes on that that go along the spine and then onto the tail because that just makes sense. Okay, so onto color. I wanted this character to be like a neon greenish, like maybe like a teal, but it just didn't work out the a way I wanted it to like originally. But I I kind of got pretty pretty darn close to it, so I couldn't do like a teal green but I was able to do like a light green, but I, it took me a while to play around with it. I tried yellow, I tried all these things. I did section off the colors before like 
I just, I commit to a color palette. So what I like to do is I'll just throw down colors that like could work theoretically. And then if I don't like specific colors, I'll just hit the protect layer and just color it in, change it, see what I like. So I blocked in the, the colors, blocked in all the particles, just did my best to kind of make a cohesive color palette. I didn't like it and I knew I would go back and change it. So I was self-aware in the moment. <laughs> Cause like that yellow skin, it doesn't really work. Like it theoretically, if you took the color palette away from this character, it would work, but on this, it doesn't. So I changed it. I tried a lot of colors. I tried light blue because of course I went to blue because of course I did. I think, uh, yeah, here I go try to do a red and blue, but I stopped myself and I'm like, no, no, Katie, we cannot. It's, you're not allowed. And then I landed on this nice, uh, light green and it looked great I don't think in the moment I was able to convince myself it looked good I think I was still like focused on it too much and was like eh, it doesn't really look good but this light green we add another green over it and that sells the design I think that ties it all together I make it a little darker in a moment but it looks so good with the dark green tell me I'm wrong go ahead Tell me I'm wrong. I dare you. <laughs> and then to balance the dark, give another uh, darker color in contrast, I got a dark purple. And I put that on the spikes, and I think that looks great. And um, looking back on it, um, the stripes kind of stick out. I don't know. I know I did that because of like, like reptile tails have that, or like dragon tails will have that like scale under scales underneath that like match it do you know what I mean do I do I think it sticks out yeah I do would I change it no but um looking at it artistically if I could change something I would probably put stripes I don't know uh one stripe on the stomach or just try and get something that matches it better make it core more cohesive I know I say cohesiveness all the time but I guess technically, since the scales go back and forth, so could the stripes. I don't know. It's, you know, it's just to each their own, I suppose. But this character design, stunning. And that's it. And I love this character design. He's stunning. I love him. I think he's so fun. Color palette, very out there. I don't think I've done a character with this type of color palette, but it just, it looks great. I don't have any problems with it. I really struggle with picking color palettes, and I think it's because I just stare at it for too long, and then I go immediately into color, and then I just, anything that's not in my comfort zone, or not red and blue, <laughs> or like something I'm used to, I think I just convince myself it doesn't look good in the moment but I'm glad because in the moment when I was coloring Drake which is what I named him I named him Drake I didn't think it looked good but I let my I, I let myself choose things that I knew would look good and then I took a step back and I came back and I loved it so honestly don't trust your heart <laughs> Don't, just don't, just don't do it. Trust your brain in this moment. Just do what is logical, do it, and then take a step back and see where you're at, you know? Life's all about taking a step back and seeing how you can improve and just, you know, because you don't want to overwhelm yourself. Anyway, I'm <laughs> kind of ranting, so I'll shut up. I like this design. I think it's great. Color palette's great. Uh, if you have any opinions, leave it in the comment below. I think uh, the concept for this prompt is great. I think it. I think I killed it. I'll be honest. Thank you. Anyway, that is all for today's video. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate you and your time. If you want to support me, you can go to the description. You can find my Kofi there. You can buy a YCH, become a member, or buy an adopt. If you want to talk about art, animation, character design, anything, my Kofi. My Kofi. My, <laughs> my card deco is linked in the description and you can find my discord there. You can click the link and it will take it directly to there. You don't even need to type in my username. It's like magic. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I love you. 
Thank you for joining me today again. I really, really, really appreciate it. If you have any character suggestions, leave it in the comments and that's it. Bye!